And here we are. It's always a mystery. What shape demo's gonna have? Hey there, everyone, it's Al Calplan, Nile X3. We're in a factory. What's gonna happen today? I don't know. Factory things is extremely plausible. Alright, so just look at that. We're almost done. Like, we're not gonna finish today, probably, like, three and one. But we are definitely, like, getting there. Factory, factory, factory. Yeah, that's right, factory cat. Also, I still don't know how to die. 88th by Sam Deluxe, facility in the far north. Uh, a bit of a nod towards Sturk here, so uh, that, to me, normally, maybe it might be a more design-focused level. It's two and a half mushroom. It's, like, it's on the threshold of what I'm willing to go into. Uh, we got, like, that flea game background tree is, uh, very well known in use. There's a chicken there. Pipe, yeah, that's right. We're going to the factory right now. We're still on the road, on the way there. That plant is gonna shiver. Whoa, a pincer. I've never encountered one of these in the back, so I'm glad they were at it. I just kind of let that room quite against me. Like, I just, I, I, I was there, and I was like, yep. Yeah. Look at that snow accumulation, though. That's adorable. I love it. I could have slid kill all of these. But this takes longer, so it's more cool. We did it! Uh, I love these bricks! They're gone now! Okay, not those bricks. Most of the bricks, in fact, are still there. We did a poor job. Whoa, poor demolition job. Alright, look at this guy. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna get and be an expert at the end of this contest and how to deal with pantsers. Just remove the pants, fold them up, put them in the dryer. There you go. Victory. The wild flame of Manitoba, just chilling out there, being real. Alright, look at that, can you go in this pipe though, huh? Whoa, maybe not? Really? Eh, yeah, it will not, eh, let me go in there. How about you? No, alright, we just got pipes, we got lava here, lava, the snow lava. We're ready to go, We're crossing the plains and forgetting all we know about pancakes today. There's coin patterns that might imply some kind of forbidden arcana. I, I tried to go up that one pipe. Then we're, uh-oh, safety sign, watch out, fire, but also watch out, here's the facility. We managed to get here. We got, okay, we got a midpoint, that's pretty good. We got a little fence here. Yeah, watch out about that rolling carpentry. We got boxes we can pick, we got a dynamite thing. Look at that, we are serving as a tutorial about Fire and ice. I always need that tutorialized. Uh, okay, so does this mean something that Mr. Blue Coin there is like special? It means I just got the blue coin. That's a five coin value. You, yeah, whoa. Man, I was actually safe for a second there until I was. I just, I guess I was just to serve as a proof of concept. I don't know. Okay, and I need to use that guy to forge a path forward for me. Ice physics, by the way. Always a good fun trip. Uh, Tim Morton's. Uh, Alright, and if I stay like back here, yeah, that guy got like dunked in the lava. And if I don't go back too far, like they won't return. Eh, oh, well, that's what happens if you try to throw a box at ice. The box made of wood disappears. Uh, I'm glad to see that we get some reinforcement of known laws of physics. So you are being kind of a pain here. Alright, so I need to like lure you over here so that you can fire over here and just never... Oh, there we go. Alright. Uh, starfish. Yeah, it has a special name. I don't know what it is. Alright, well I got a friend now. He lives up there in the attic and he throws fire everywhere. I don't like him and I don't really consider him a friend. But that's what the script says, and, uh, so that's- Oh! See, that was, could have gone real bad, but there was a strategically placed ice cube box square block. The words and what they mean is completely optional. I didn't get the Dagadon. Big empty room with light fixtures! Uh, Alright, well, uh, yeah, we get starfish underwater. Oh, that top spike does not like the water. Every other direction is fine, but the top one just does not understand. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, that's... I didn't expect him to spawn so quick. The other guy...
Yeah, I, uh... Oh, there's the power-up. They're inside the bong, the crates. I keep forgetting that's a thing. An enemy that just throws projectiles everywhere. It's when the guy came back, you know, like, and surprised me. Like, that's, that's what killed me. Like, I just wasn't prepared for the re-emergence of the starfish. There we go. Oh, really? Oh. And throw them, and it takes a moment for them to be thrown. It's the same reason why power-ups and... I keep rushing here. I, I just... Trying to rush, and I'm just dying all day long. Reminder that there's no real science behind the difficulty indicators. Uh, considering this level has killed me more times than three and a half mushrooms. Like, yeah, like, there's no science for difficulty. Uh, they can be, like, a quick, good heads up for, like, what to expect, but... Like I said, it's, it's not a science. Like, some people were wondering why two and a half mushroom was apparently enough for me to say, Nah, I'm not doing it. It's because of the non-science wiggle room. Throw it against the ice, throw it against the roof, and then wait five hours for it to spawn. I mean, I guess why that is because it can be enemies, and you want those to have a time to appear, so like, it doesn't feel cheap. I'm dead. I'm not. Oh, the lower angle was a lot shallower than I expected. Yeah, huh. Hey, I'm here big. A rare happening. Oh, you can read this. Uh, uh huh. All right. So, were there other signs like that that I missed? Maybe, because like you can't read the little exclamation, really, the little exclamation mark sign and the question one like very similar. If you're just like eyeballing, so I'm not surprised I missed it. Right? Don't tap. Jump too much and sail upward uh, to your doom. All right, here we go. I did like it's not hard, but it's a very specific kind of obstacle that will trip up a very specific type of playstyle. Can't go back up there. That'd be silly. Like I don't know. Like yeah, here they put the dagger on there. Like if the two guys there make it harder, but I don't think it does. Cause no matter if you go up or down, you kind of have to deal with all three. Now that lava. Now this is gonna cause problems in the future. Uh, there's gonna be some important, massive clogging and damage. Uh, yeah, this uh, particular factor here is gonna have some. Gonna have a very costly situation in the near future, and that's really unfortunate. I, I don't know what they're producing. Like, they're probably the local town's, like, only industry. Like, you know, it's like the thing that keeps the local town around here aloft. Yo, lava factory. Making lava for you and me. Mostly you. I don't know what that means. All right, money, there we go. We found payroll. I'm gonna leave two behind. Oh, and there's the end. Okay, and the core of the factory, like it's all broken down and smashed up. The 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 panels in the back were absolutely shocked, and I mean, I can understand. Uh, yeah, I feel like maybe I had a little bit more trouble than others. Automatic, automatic. Okay, the factory. Uh, Asteron. Yeah, that's the that's the fish of Star <laughs> and good old NPC Panzer. Interpreted it as a facility. Automatic. No, yeah, I kind of get it. Credit! Look at that! Meatball! 32! Uh, and then we get the bonus from that game, and remake, and it's a me! And the fire! And then we got seal construction. You know, it's a tile set. Oh yeah! There was a big tundra part at the start! <laughs> I mean, 
that's kind of neat. Like, it kind of, you know, you had molten snow in the background, so it kind of hints in the future how you'll use Panzer to melt ice. I don't know, though. I think Asteron is very hard to use, because it's, like, because it floats and just kind of sits there and then explodes, it's a sprite that basically does one thing and one thing only. Yeah, the rooms are, like, too big sometimes, where in the back half you just kind of run for a bit. It's, uh, it's like you build the rooms first, and then we're adding things, and then you just didn't near the end. Hmm... That's all fair. I didn't read any part of this out loud, but you probably got time to get to the end of it. So it feels like people overall prefer the tundra part than the factory part. So imagine if you have done a whole tundra level. But I mean, like, how would you tell ahead of time, right? See, the big difference though is that the first part, the part in the tundra, is a lot more just pure good time Mario's. While uh, the second half, the industry half, is a lot more gimmicky. I, the gimmicky is a bit of wait for ice to melt. Like, there's... It's neat. But honestly, now that I think about it, you don't interact with it a whole lot. Yeah. You, you hang around in their blind spot, which is pretty easy to find. And then you got water and starfish. I ran out of steam, the factory is now closed. <laughs> I feel like Rameau uh, making a comment about lots of projectile is being a running theme. Yeah, it's for it's an ice melting factory. It's, you know, for all those ice melting needs out there in the wild. What's this guy? Alright, well, let's do it. 87 by Chico, Sabotage the Enemy Submarine. Alright, slightly higher by Zatsu. Ramo didn't care for it as, as much. Or maybe he did, but the scores didn't line up. Whoa, this time instead of starting in the thing, we're now in the desert. You know, the thing. Scientific adaptation. Oh, why did you throw upward? Because you're not Toad. Everyone just throw it their own way and like good luck ever getting used to anything. There you go. I oh, want was this mushroom. Yay desert. All right, so here we go. Super blah. That's right. Ah, uh, bop. That fish came out. It's a plant. A little water. There's like super quick tides here. I would be worried as the tides went that fast, probably. Oh jeez. Well, yeah, that guy kind of came right up. Like I wasn't in momentum as I saw it coming. <laughs> My choices were limited, hey, but it's fine. Alright, I'm just approaching this not the way that was necessarily intended. Because look at Pokey, like, Pokey's not being mean or anything. He just kind of goes wherever, you know, and I, it just happened that our timings coincided there. Look at this sand all over the place. Alright, so this time we're gonna be smart. They're just gonna wait, yeah, for a little pokey to, like, step back. There we go. There's a submarine. Big old metallic block floating over everything. Look at that. Yeah, uh, why do I keep wanting to call it a fish? I don't know. There's very little fish-like about it. Hey, here we go. Here's a submarine in the... Yeah. Well, it's not a submarine yet. It's the it's the water part that surrounds the submarine. This is kind of neat. It's kind of a neat thing to go around. I'm glad I got fired. Just get rid of blooper immediately. Ain't got no time for a blooper. Take reading the script seriously. Uh oh, but there's a colony of jellyfish just standing up in a line like a bunch of weirdos. Uh, yeah. Ooh, that fire flower for a while looked really yellow. I was like, hey, is this a special brand? Uh, no, it's it's flashing, but you know the flashing got to stop. Look at this strange structure there. The pedo takes so long to come out. There's something fascinating about it. All right, so we got weird underwater shapes and things we gotta do. I'm gonna make mistakes and then blame you. That's not no, that's not true. I'm not gonna do that. All right, yeah, there we go. You can't shoot me. I'm Mario. Alright, so check it out. This is the water part. Yeah! And then we got the water part. 
right here. Bullets everywhere. War them and defeat them. I don't know. Maybe the idea is that I know, like, now that we got guns everywhere, like, submarine was lost to the waves a long time ago, and like, like all the, like, it's covered in sand and mud, and got all the cannons everywhere, just kind of sticking out. Then here I ended a bad move. It's gonna happen. It totally is. Can you go up here? No, I can again. Bop my head on the ceiling. Uh, here are the natural Cheerios deposits. I kind of wiggling a little bit. A very uncomfortable underwater type movement. All right, here we go. Oh no, the fish are teaming up together. Oh geez, don't shoot at me like that. Part of the submarine that's sticking out of the rock. Oh what? Oh that's kind of neat. I mean, it's very kind of neat. Hey, we'll take it though. Look at that guy blowing that underwater. Absolutely unbelievable. Uh, oh, these guys, like, this is just, no, please don't do this with your neighbor. Alright, oh shoot, I... Down swimming in Smebex goes way more down than in Smoo, I think. Maybe, sometimes I say things like that and I just misremember basic stuff. The music is, like, very serious. Like, we are in something massive here. Uh, that you're dodging cartoon fish. It's kind of funny. Alright, here, the water is gone. We got- is this- is this the- the thing? The submarine? It's this pipe. Alright, and Pokey's living here. On top of the munchers. Uh-oh, don't lose your head! You're gonna need that when you take your driver's exam. Alright, that guy's there. He's like, eh. I'm very impressed by him and his eh. Alright, look at that. Woof! Invincibility frames. That's right. We got those here. Alright, so stones and quandaries and Mickey Rooney. Alright, and then we use this pipe to go here. And we did it. Wow, that was a long segment where at some point death would have become pretty punishing. Might be something that pipe, or maybe it's just a place for a plant to live in to throw fire at you. We get to experience the world underneath the world now. Sometimes you need to be in the air and sometimes don't. And the air and fireball gets slowed down when on the water. And then it keeps it slow down this, or it's just because there's like blocks of swim physics, like all the way underneath. Like the way that this game is made, that could probably finally we did it! We found the submarino! Alright, and there's there's Lou Albino there, it's kinda chilling out, walking in space. Weird, so now we are in no scroll zone. I can think with that. Man, there's just like a fostering of creatures. Oh, jeez! Whoops! Uh, all right. Well, um, kind of regret what just happened there. But you know what? It might be fine. Maybe. Uh, can I like move? Yes. Okay. Hey, here we go. So don't kill guys. Uh, don't kill guys. Uh, we got ourselves a gimmick here, and the gimmick is: hey, we are a visitor. We are here in peace. And, uh, we're gonna keep that going, alright? Hey, sounds like grand old time. So you see all these- oh, you're supposed to be doing the platforming up there here. You're not supposed to be in the bottom with the guy with the red shoes. Alright, well now I know, you know? Look at that. Uh-oh. They're combining their length. Alright, we're still gonna be okay. Can I jump on a bullet bill, though? Does that count? <laughs> I don't know. Do I want to find out? Like, honestly, I don't know if I want to find out. I mean, the spikes are still gonna hurt. That guy's swung in space, so he's like, like a weird, like, pseudo-muncher. This is really interesting, honestly. I like this. Now that I know what's going on, I can follow these directions, and... Oh, this ain't no good. How about... You gotta go up here. Alright, you give me a P-switch. I can turn people into people, if I want. That's a skill. Right there. So what am I doing? Like, why do I have it? Let's press it. Let's see what happens. Ah, uh, yeah. See, very impressed by everything around me. Oh, I can make that guy drop. Yeah, I did it. Victory for those who smell. Like, that feels like a death hole there, but maybe it's not, and you're supposed to go down there. See, this is kind of the issue, I think, in having these places where you arbitrarily scroll through uh, the side of the screen to go to another place. It's that, then you don't know if, it, if actually, no, this is an actual wall, and it's solid, and you can't go there. Like, there's no real differences. 
and uh, that's what caught me here off guard. It's fine. It's like at some point they realize that because you get two P switches. It's like, oh, okay. I mean, that's very nice though. It's a little clumsy, but I appreciate it regardless. Hey, buddy, it's Cat Planet. All right, so by doing this, I can like, uh, uh huh, yeah, that's right. I want this mushroom. I want to get larger. Here we go. The Pie P Puzzle Maze. Oh, another myth point. This one's tiny though. Yeah, you got another mushroom too. How about that? All right. Well, we got blocks. We got blocks. All right. I don't know what to do here. Do we need to do we go here? No. Do you gotta destroy all the blocks? No. You can't interact with these screws. Okay. Um, oh, there we go. What? That is so... What's the word I'm looking for here? I don't know, but that turtle's gonna have problems. Oh, phew, the turtle is unhurt. I'm very happy about that. Arbitrary. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta just destroy the whole area here, because Mario's a jerk now. <laughs> he just destroys things. All right, well, are we still in peace time? Oh, 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 geez, well, it doesn't matter. Ah, man. All right, um, all right, um, yeah, homing enemies, never like them. I just don't like how homing works in this engine. Then you go up here, destroy the world, please. When you remove their wings, they become a lot less courageous and then are content to just pretend to be one of the normals and wander about without direction. Uh, all right, here we go. There's a whole story going on here. Please don't die, it's all I ask for. Uh-oh, now things are starting to sink, but there's a bullet above me, and it's pretty scary. All right, I guess we're gonna find here, or I don't know, I guess I'm going up here. All right, for sure. All right, what are you guys doing, huh? Yeah, uh, invincibility frames, to on purpose. That's right, you can't get me. I'm somewhere, that doesn't exist. For what? Okay, so there's an actual wall there, that means. Because he bounced on that. I feel like if you just leave it like that, he'll like go through, right? Uh, how did that get activated? Like, did the Goomba activate that? Oh, what? Oh, there's water here, though. Okay. Scary, but we can deal with it. <laughs> Man. All right, hey, guy. It's kind of hovering there. Well, you're gonna have problems, so, like, what's your exit strategy? There used to be a guy here. And, uh, my favorite part is just the strip of blue underneath. Also, music is gone. The end feels a bit rushed. Like, you had this whole thing set up, and at the end... <laughs> just gonna walk off the ship through the ground and get the star here. Don't think about it. <laughs> Insidious, huh? I don't know about that. Bonus submarine, I get it. This is a pretty long level. This would be a very punishing level if you, like, die at the end of sections. Maybe that's where the Insidious came from. Good grammar there, how cow. Uh, the usage of layers. Uh... Yeah, no, but I mean, it's dealable. You get a lot of, like, tools, I think. And you often get chances to go, like, above them, which is important. Like, dealing with homing enemies on, like, a plane, flat plane, where they're always above you, that feels like a nightmare. But in a level that offers you a lot of vertical variants like this, I think it's fine. Uh, yeah, destroying the blue bricks for some reason just does not make sense. I guess that's the insidious part. <laughs> oh... Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, the last things, I, I I agree with everything, including the last sentence. What is happening with my voice? It keeps breaking. Really? Huh, I wonder what happens there. Alright, okay. I mean, okay, I mean, you make a good argument. I mean, the trick is just not to die. It's like, it's like I was saying, right? If you, the, Your experience will change a lot, whether you die or not. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, I, I kept making jokes about that, about like looking for the submarine. I was genuinely a bit surprised when the submarine did, like, actually showed up at the end. Was it stealth though? <laughs> like, you were out in the open, just bopping and jumping and running everywhere. It's more of a, hey, we're not an enemy, we're just a friendly visitor. Why does Mario need to go here and sabotage a sub in the middle of nowhere? Yeah, the submarine sinking at the end is super cool. It's just weird how you walk through stone to get to a star that appeared there. But yeah, honestly, um, yeah, I agree. You could have focused way more on the sub. Honestly, having the full sub segment, just that, would be a slightly short but perfectly pretty good level. If you really think about it, and that's gonna be left. Ooh, I might not actually end it because next stop is gonna be a four mushroom with a three clock. What does that mean? We're gonna find out tomorrow. You know what? Because I might warp you. Let's read. What does this guy have to say? I understand this reference. Do you? Yeah, it was earlier in this same series. <laughs> 